Do you have any crazy Russian experiences out there? Uh, oh, I was there two years, so yeah, I have plenty. It was new, and I played in Yaroslavl, and at the time, yeah, the, the planes probably shouldn't have been in the air, and the buses probably shouldn't have been on the road, and the trains that we traveled in sometimes shouldn't have been on the tracks. It was, it was hairy, um, getting paid in cash, and driving uh, at high rates of speed to get to the bank before it closes because you don't want to go back to your apartment with a bag of cash. So it was definitely the Wild West. Um, I remember once when we were uh, flying to Switzerland, um, my teammate who actually went down in the Yaroslavl accident, uh, Carl Rakunik. Mm. Carl and I also played for the Rangers together. Carl and I were on the plane about to leave Moscow airport and we were throwing all of our old luggage, um, a lot of our medical stuff off because we were overweight. So they were trying to differentiate what could stay, what could go. So we're getting rid of everything. And then as soon as we landed in Switzerland, we're unloading the airplane, because we did it all ourselves. Like the, you're, you're right on the tarmac and you're unloading it, you're putting on the bus. And Carl just grabs me, he's like, Valley, Valley, look. And the guys were carrying the Gatorade bottles. They carried the big Gatorade bottles, the one that they dump on the coaches on <laughs> football. So we actually brought water from Russia to Switzerland rather than medical supplies and a lot of the gear that we needed. Like that's, that's, that's how we were rolling in Russia. It was, every day was a different story, but man, some I can tell you, some I can't, but. The Moscow team that you were a part of uh, later in, I think it was 2010, 2011, uh, it has, you know, Nikita Gusev on it, who's on the Devils now. Of, 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 Jan Stasny. Of, 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 Steve Valiquet. Kucherov was on that team, too. Yeah. We had a lot of good players, man. There's a lot of good players in Russia. A lot of good players in Russia that never even come over that you don't hear about. And they're just legends over there. And, you know, they still pay very well. So it's very difficult to get some of the guys that just love being in Russia to come over to North America. But we're also blessed with a lot of great players and, I've had a lot of great Russian teammates. I've, I've, always, I've always liked the language too. I learned how to speak Russian when I was there, enough to get through a day. That, that's what was kind of unique about it too, is like you said in Moscow that I played for the Red Army, it was only Jan Stasny. The hard thing about it is you can't enjoy the sense of humor that you would in the locker room when you're all speaking the same language. That's the hard part. Well, because especially in hockey, you know, the art of the chirp and, and the comeback is kind of yeah. ingrained in the culture. I'm sure you lose that rat-a-tat when you're in the locker room. Yeah, big time. I mean, that's what I think that's what we all miss most uh, when we retire. You don't get a sense of that in Europe when you're a North American player unless you get to speak the language.